A few months ago, Tesla Malaysia launched the Model Y. Now, the new Model 3 is finally here and Malaysia is one of the first countries to get it. And the price, well, is very disruptive, not just for EVs, but also for other petrol power sedans as well. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and this is everything you need to know about the Tesla Model 3. Also known as Project Highland, the new updated Model 3 comes in two versions in Malaysia. The base rear drive Model 3 is priced at 189,000 ringgit and the twin motor long range model is priced at 218,000 ringgit. These prices exclude the extra admin, number plate and order fee. So you have to add at least 1,700 ringgit for the final price. The base rear drive model boasts up to 513 kilometers of WLTP range on a single charge and it can do 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.1 seconds. Meanwhile, the overdrive drive long range model boasts up to 629 km of WLTP range on a single charge and it does 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4.4 seconds. Both models have a top speed of 201 km per hour, which is lower than the pre facelift models. Just like the Model Y, the base white color is free, but if you want anything else, you'll have to pay more. The solid black and deep blue cost 5,000 ringgit and a new stealth grey cost 7,500 ringgit. If you want your Model 3 in ultra red, that will cost you 11,000 ringgit. By default, the Tesla Model 3 gets 18 inch photon wheels. You can upgrade them to 19 inch Nova wheels for 7,500 ringgit. If you want to change the interior trim from black to white, that will cost you 5,000 ringgit. In terms of safety features, it gets basic autopilot as standard, which is basically level 2 ADAS, which include autonomous emergency braking, lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control. You can upgrade this to enhanced autopilot for 16,000 ringgit, which enables extra features like auto lane change, auto park, and summon. For the full suite of tech features, there's also full self driving option, which costs 32,000 ringgit. Just take note that it can't really self drive yet especially in Malaysia. The new Model 3 is essentially a facelift which comes with a number of significant changes. The front design, including the sharper looking headlamps, looks like a second generation Tesla Roadster, which I think is a huge improvement. The taillight is also different now, which gets a civic katam like C-shaped design. The overall design changes is set to improve its efficiency, which contributes to additional driving range on a single charge. On the inside, the interior of the Model 3 gets some design tweaks as well. The central 15.4 inch display has thinner bezels, and the Model 3 now gets ventilated seats as well as multi-color ambient lighting. Like before, the central display is also a fantastic movie theater on wheels, as you can watch Netflix, YouTube, and Disney Plus when you're not driving. The new Model 3 gets an upgraded sound system with up to 17 speakers, which include two subwoofers and dual amplifiers. The real drive version just gets 9 speakers. If you get the white version, it now gets more white surface area, especially on the front door trims. Another new addition for the rear occupants is an 8 inch screen, which can be used to control the aircon and also for video playback. But there are a couple of things that I don't like about this new Model 3. Tesla is taking its minimalistic approach even further. Similar to the yoke steering version of the Tesla Model S, the Model 3 doesn't come with a stock for your signal indicator and wiper. If you need to put your signal to indicate left or right, you'll have to push a button on the steering wheel, which can be tricky especially when you're driving in a runabout. Imagine making a turn and trying to signal before you exit in a runabout. Maybe this won't be a problem for those who don't use their signal light, but this is something that might take a while to get used to. Since there are no stocks, that also means that the drive selector is also on the touchscreen. So you need to use the touchscreen to switch between reverse, neutral and park. So uh, I'll still prefer a physical stop for this. And also the second screen at the back, well, it seems to be mounted quite low. So I'm not sure if that's going to be usable, especially if there's a third person sitting in the middle. So that's it. The Tesla Model 3 is finally able to order in Malaysia and the deliveries are expected to start by the end of 2023. So will you get this over the Tesla Model Y, which costs 10,000 ringgit extra? Let us know in the comments down below. And you know what? This car is actually just 20,000 ringgit more than the Topspec Master 3 um, Leafback Edition or and also 20,000 ringgit more than the BYD Auto 3. So what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so they'll be informed of future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.